Hi guys, welcome back to Manifest with Armony. This is Armony and I'm a Love Attraction Consultant. Um, this is the first video I'm doing with my um, new light. So I decided to get a light for my videos. I figured it's about time that I start um, adding a couple of things in here that would improve the quality of videos. So hope you appreciate it. I sure like it. We had a lot of fun playing around with this uh, light in the past couple of days. <laughs> So, okay, welcome back to the channel. Um, let's see, what are we going to address today? Today we are doing, okay, we're focusing on the question of how does it feel to be in the Sabbath? Um, that's a question I got from uh, a previous video post I did and that was all about um, Neville Goddard's interpretation or the medical, metaphysical interpretation of the Sabbath and how it is not an actual day out of the week, but it is a state of mind that happens once your subconscious mind has accepted um, that your wish has been already done, is already done. So um, the six days represent the work that you, the mental work that you put into um, aligning with your desire. And then the seventh day is the day of rest, is the Sabbath, because that represents not an actual day, not an actual seventh day, but um, it represents the interval of um, you being at ease because you already, you no longer feel like you need to do any work. You feel like the work is done, um, which means that um, conception has occurred and this is the gestation period, um, also known as, well, you can it can be considered the, the gap in some way, but anyway, so the question I received under that video was what does it feel like what does the sabbath feel like and i kind of naturally just took a breath there because um the sabbath feels like that it feels like ease it feels it feels like ease it feels like nothing else needs to be done when you think about that topic you don't feel like oh man i have to figure this out oh man how's this gonna happen um what do i need to do what do i need to think what do i need to feel um you don't go through any of those emotions or thoughts when you think of your um, wish and that is how you know you are experiencing the sabbath and it kind of sounds like this you know mysterious you know thing that's difficult to to um to get to but it's actually not it's something we do in everything in our lives you know everything from this is and i use this because it's such a easy comparison you know when you order food at a restaurant um you know you, the mental work is is maybe you know thinking about what you want or and then and then there's the aligning with it so you actually you put in the order right and then you kind of look forward to it you think about it you know maybe someone else at a table nearby ordered the same thing and they're receiving it and you're like oh yes i'm gonna get mine soon um so that's all aligning with having it and then there's no tension because you know it's coming and then the server comes and puts it in front of you, right? So we are experiencing the Sabbath all the time. Um, what you want to experience is the Sabbath of the desire that you're looking to deliberately manifest, right? Okay, so let's go more into detail. Maybe I can help you. I wish, you know, I think I know who, know who commented this, but let's just say, um, let's use one specific example. Um, of course, I'm going to go to relationship because that seems to be um, the most popular topic um, with my viewers sometimes, <laughs> let's say. So what does it mean to be... And I'm, what I'm going to do is... This is pretty much what I'm doing to answer this question. This is where I'm going in my mind. I'm going to how it felt when I was experiencing the Sabbath with my relationship. And that was eight years ago, so bear with me. <laughs> bear with me just a bit as I kind of go back to certain emotions and and certain emotions are still occurring it's not like it's only something you experience during the Sabbath because the the feeling that you experience during the Sabbath are the feeling of naturalness of it so you'll still have that once your desire um, is externalized in this world it's just that um, I want to go back to when I was first feeling that ease about it um, so I'll close my eyes if you don't mind. And um, I remember doing just basic exercises 
to feel the feeling of being in that type of relationship. Um, identifying with a person who has that experience of that relationship. And then once you do that here and there and you persist in it for a little while, it doesn't even take that much as long as you don't resist it and contradict it too much. Um, this feeling of the Sabbath settles in and that feeling is an enthusiasm that is subtle. It's like an underlying anticipation. Not something you're consciously feeling as often, but it's something that you are experiencing underneath your regular feelings throughout the day. So what you usually do throughout the day, um, hopefully you're working or you're, you know, going to school or both or spending time with friends and family, you'll be doing those things and you'll be doing them probably more enjoyably because, if that's a word, more enjoyably, with more um, joy because you will not have this heaviness of this problem, this dilemma of what are you going to do about this big aspect of your life that hasn't shown up yet. Basically, you're not thinking any longer, I don't have a relationship and I don't know how it's going to show up for me, so I don't know what I'm going to do about this. You don't feel like you need to do anything about it anymore. When um, a romantic scene comes on, you know, during a movie or a TV show, you don't feel like it's something separate from you. You feel like it's very natural to you and it might feel warm, you know, instead of feeling foreign or, or there's no resentment. Um, what else does that feel like? It feels like it's a familiar feeling because maybe in this subject of, let's say, relationships, like we're using that now as an example, um, in relationships, you may not have felt that ease. Um, but in other areas of your life, you have felt it. So it, it is a familiar feeling. It's just that now that familiar feeling is moving into this aspect of your life. And it feels good. It feels light. It feels like it doesn't feel powerful in the sense of when we think, if, if you think of the word powerful as um, something with force or, you know, because so many things that I try to share through YouTube and through YouTube and through Instagram now, um, I try to share things that emphasize that concentration and focus um, is where your is where our power lies because that is our role. Um, however, usually when we think of concentration and focus, we think of just like forcing it, you know, like forcing. What is that like? Or or I'm going to make this happen with my mind, and that's not what I encourage because that's not. The quickest way to get there because focus and concentration is actually um, very light and it doesn't feel like you're adding power to it um, it just feels normal so the nam the sabbath feels normal and it kind of does feel like what saturday or sunday might feel to you um, it just feels light and good and you feel free. Um, imagine if it was your Sabbath, if you observe the Sabbath, whether, you know, it's Saturday or Sunday for you. Um, if you experience that and imagine that there was no Monday, you know, because a lot of times we spend our Sundays thinking, oh man, this is so great. Tomorrow we have to go back to work and get the Sunday blues and that type of thing. But imagine if there was only Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then the end of the week was, yeah, weekend. Whew. You get to just relax and enjoy it. Um, and imagine there was no concept of back to work tomorrow. 
or back to work on Monday. Um, that's what it feels like applied to whatever subject area that you are applying this to. Um, so that's just the tip of the iceberg because I'm using what's general. I'm using general feelings. But for you, you'll be able to, whoever is watching, whoever wants to experiment with this, will be able to apply it to really specific scenarios, um, really specific feelings because you have, you know your own um, proximity in, with certain things. Like you know how you previously may have felt about something and now you feel this way about it. And you've previously associated this subject with something and now you associate it with this. Um, so use those things to be specific about how the Sabbath feels. And what is that? When you are playing around with what the Sabbath feels like, what you're actually doing is you're feeling it real. And you're living in the end. So it's all the same thing, just different wording. And that's great because it just shows us how simple it is. And the only reason it feels complicated is because we're trying to apply it to all these old ways of thinking we had, but it's actually, if you stick, stick to the simplicity of it, then um, resting in the Sabbath is very simple. Just like I said, when you order food at a restaurant, um, you order it, order then wait. You know, that's from number two, order then wait. Um, that's about it. So if you guys have any personal experience with this and you'd like to share it, please do. Um, I really like, I love getting questions under videos and I also love the, the personal experience stories and I don't get as many of those. So I'd really like more um, for me because I love hearing it. Um, and then also because every time you share your story, anyone who reads it will, you know, there will be some people who really benefit from it more than you might think. So. Uh, please share those stories. If you like this video, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe and you haven't done yet, done so yet, please do. And I will see you guys at the next video. Bye!